push me to the max. Push me to the max. Together for them one time, I bet. Put your hands together for them. I bet online to make a logo for. Are we having fun here tonight? Come on now, come on, come on. Are we having fun here tonight? Single ladies, where you are at? Don't go and marry. Engage ladies, where you are at? If you have the ring for over three years, don't shout to. How many of you are engaged? You are ashamed. <laughs> Lucky say your husband no day. Which other? Married people. Put your hands together for them. Put your hands together for the married ones. Are you here with your significant other? Is your significant other here? We will talk later. 
So when I was coming here, they said there will be so many different people here today, different cultures. Do we have any Chinese people here? Yeah. Where? That doesn't sound like a Chinese. <laughs> ah, she, she. That's correct, right? Put your hands together for her. Put your hands together for her. Which other country do we have that's very, very... Please don't say Ghana. Igbo is not a country. Liberia! They say the only way to know a Liberian girl is by Hanyash. And see, stand up. Stand up. Let's see if you are really Liberian. Stand up. Turn. You are not Liberian now. Which? I didn't hear that one. Do they give Sierra Leonean people visa? Sierra Leone! Two and a half people. It's not allowed. <laughs> Americans in the building. <laughs> How many of you are single Americans? I need green card, bad, bad. <laughs> it's not a joking matter. Look, I'm a handsome guy. Come on. Any volunteers? $10,000 for the first person to agree to give me my green card. $10,000. Two. You give me two green cards for $10,000. Is your mom Igbo? Anybody that's competing with her? I actually want a Chinese citizenship. 50000 Five Is the green card made of gold? I want thief. All right. Well, we are waiting for them to get ready so that we can continue. But for the meantime, I just want to tell you guys, I'm single. I'm searching. But the girl I want, I need a very specific girl. I need a white girl. Any white girls in the house? It's not because of any... Let me tell you why. I like white girls because they're very easy to maintain. Economy-wise. Think about it. No, let's, let's think about it. If a white girl gets mad at her boyfriend, you see her. John, don't touch me. It's over. You see, she will start walking away. If you want to apologize, what do you need? Eh? Flour and what? Coffee. Medium-sized coffee, just carry flour and coffee, just come in front of the white girl, knee down, say, babe, I know I've sinned against you. Please forgive me. You see her, simple. Oh, my God. You're so cute. That's simple. Nigerian girls, if they get mad at you, first of all, their walking pace will increase you. Then they will start bouncing. <laughs> At that point in time, if you want to apologize to them, you are wasting your time. All you need to do is just text your friends. Say, guy, call me in five minutes. When your friend calls, just pick up the phone. Yeah, hello? Yeah, Mike, what's going on? I'm in the house. Oh, you've deposited the $60,000 in my account? What am I supposed to do with 60,000? That's chicken change. As soon as the girl hears that you have 60,000 in your account, the girl that was here, you just see her. <laughs> Can somebody play with you? <laughs> Nigerian girls, put your hands for yourself. Put your hands together for yourself, Nigerian women. Second of all, American, American ladies, white ladies, they are very romantic. Valentine's Day, you tell her, babe, close your eyes. She'll close her eyes without asking any questions. Say, babe, think of our love. She'll start thinking without asking any questions. You tell her, babe, when you think of our love, what do you see? Oh, my God. <laughs> I see love. I see flowers. 
beautiful things. Try being romantic with a Nigerian girl. Ngo, baby. Ngo, close your eye. For what? Just close your eye. Close your eye. Okay, she will close. Ngo, think of our love. For what? Just think of our love. Think. She will start thinking. When you think of our love, what do you see? <laughs> I actually see <laughs> a Range Rover. <laughs> 50,000. You go to open your eye! Stop thinking. No shit. I just guess are very hard to maintain. You tell her, come, let's go out. Let me take you out there. You tell her, come by yourself. She will come with the whole community. So it's just my friends. And if you see her friends, large friends. But it's all right. I still love my African women. African ladies, put your hands for, together for yourselves, I beg. There is nothing better than an African woman. You will come back home. You have jello fries in your house. There is soup in the fridge. Anything you want. Unless you cheated on her that day, you go chop poison. <laughs> but it's allowed. Lala, are we yes. ready? Yes. All right, you guys. <laughs> Keep in mind that he's single and he's definitely looking for an American <laughs> woman. Confirm. <laughs> With blue passports, what? preferably. <laughs> Not green card. Why the passport? Passports. Huh? Why that? The passport makes a difference. Why? I'm not a citizen. Why are you doing like this now? <laughs> well, I'll have to find out after the show. Go ahead and give it up for our next round of models, you guys. <laughs> I'm 
I'll give it up for Imago Day. Right here is their lovely designer. Did y'all like those clothes? Yeah. All right, so tell them your name. My name is Onisha Goldsmith, and I'm with Imago Day Consulting and Design. Mm. Perfect. And what's your inspiration for the clothing design? Um, for tonight, of course, it was Asian, African themed. So you saw a lot of mixture of African fabrics mi mixed with the Asian theme, um, as well as metallics. Okay, perfect. Where can they find you? Um, you can find me on Facebook at Imago Day Consulting and Design. You can find me on Instagram under Imago Day. Consulting All right, give it up for her one more time. That was great. One more question. Thank you so much. Where are you from? I am from Greenville, South. Well, I'm a military brat. Right? Where are you from? <laughs> but I am in Greenville, South Carolina right now. Put your hands together for her. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wonderful designer. You see how complicated her name is? It's like a venture. What's the full name again? Imago Day. Imago Day. That's she said what she, something. That's all Imago I Day Construction. Something, something. <laughs> Oh, okay, maybe I was wrong. Consulting. Oh, consult. Thank you. God Imago bless you. Day Consulting. Yeah, I had construction, but it's okay. <laughs> Can you explain to me what this cane is? I mean, first of all, give it up for his attire. Doesn't he look good? I'm trying. You people should clap now. Clap. <laughs> I tried. 
tell me about this cane, your ensemble. Who are you wearing tonight? Well, <laughs> where do you want to start? Let's start with your blazer, because I've never seen one like it. I mean, it's buttoned going across your chest, your <coughs> stomach, and then it opens up at the bottom. Oh, uh, yeah, it does. It looks does. really nice. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, this blazer was made by somebody that lives here in Atlanta. I don't forget the name of it. <laughs> really? No, I will get the information and come and announce it. And the shoes Tell was, me. was also made by somebody in this Atlanta. I will get the name too. Then the bracelet was made in Nigeria. Nice. Nigeria, give it up for yourselves. Nigeria, where would you? Hey. You are white. <laughs> then what else? The cane was custom made. Um, one of my supporters made it for me. And yeah, that's about it. You look really good. <laughs> so are you single for real or? Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, okay. You can send in your application. <laughs> send it to my Gmail account. You, what? Yeah, okay. looking good. Is that red bottom? Uh, we can pretend like it is uh, for show's sake. But um, shout out to Shoe Land on Beaufort Highway. Um, but... <laughs> Shout out to AliExpress. Yeah. You know you got to go size larger when you ordering from overseas. Shout out to AliExpress. It took them three weeks to get here, but they came just in three time. Three weeks. That's even very you know. good. AliExpress, you order in January 2011. It will come February 2016. <laughs> but it's allowed. It's still cheap. But it's well worth the wait. Okay. Confirm. Are you single? Yes, I am. You are? Yes. 443. Where's your phone now? It's backstage. Okay, we'll do it backstage. Don't worry. Uh, uh, Y'all see that? Is it cute or no? <laughs> oh! Thunder, fire your... <laughs> Who is that? Leave this place. Where did that come from? I'm allergic to nonsense. Where? Where? You said no. Come. Oh. Look at the person that is saying no. Look at yourself. Oh. My friend, take a seat. Can you imagine? Next time, iron your clothes before you say no. Can you imagine? Wait a minute, she said it too. Stand up, girl. Don't be scared now. Who said no? Please, anybody that said no, look at anymore? yourself first. You said no. How long has that weave been on your hair? Please watch the person you are talking to. So, some of these people that are saying no, they will have different continents on their head. Brazilian, Peruvian, Chinese. And you are still saying no. Continue show, Joe. It's, it's all right. Yes. You going to be all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. We got a show to maintain. Are y'all enjoying Culture Shock 2015 so far? <laughs> Give it up for our next act. They are called May Yay. Hip hop. All right. Hip hop. Give it up for them. <laughs> Put your hands together for them. I even should stop being stingy with clapping.
Give it up for all of the models. Maye Hip Hop. Does anybody know what that means? Right, I just learned that. That means I am hip hop. What language well, is that? Uh, Ghanaian. Chui. And I learned you spell that T W I. <laughs> I'm learning something new tonight. All right, so first of all, y'all said that he wasn't cute, but did y'all think that any of those male models were cute? I have a question for the ladies. Do you prefer a guy that has six pack, sexy guy, chocolates, with no money? Or a guy with a heavy stomach and a heavy bank account? If you prefer six pack, make some noise. Remember, they're broke though. Six pack He's and broke. broke. Six pack and broke, make some noise. Oh, they said they don't care. No, six pack will feed you. <laughs> big stomach and big bank accounts make some noise. What you need is a sugar daddy. <laughs> All of them are wish out. But me, some people are saying, she forbid don't have six packs. She forbid this, she forbid that. Tell me a millionaire that you know that has six packs. Who? Drake. When did that one start going to the gym? Who do you know? Let's start from Bill Gates, the richest man in the world. Does he have six packs? Eh? Have you seen it? <laughs> Ghanaian girls are a fear owner. Who else? The only person that is even close is Idris Elba. That one, how much does he have? Uh, Look at yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the shame. That's somebody's husband. <laughs> but it's okay. Hey. Next up. <laughs> Shout out to DJ Keeping it real, holding it down for us. Put your hands together DJ for DJ e. Cool. E. Give e. it up for him, y'all. Put your hands together for e. Cool. Say the wave like president. And remember, we have vendors outside, oh, wow. well, behind you guys, outside of this line, who have some beautiful things for sale. They might even cut y'all a deal, but you ain't hear that from me. <laughs> and the right. after party tonight will be at 1145 Lounge. 2110 Peach Tree Road, Atlanta, Georgia. Make your way down there. IK, happy birthday. Where is IK? Put your hands together for IK. It's his birthday. He just turned 16 in America. He's so humble. It's his birthday. If no. they would have gave me a birthday shout out, I would have stood up. He just no. like. No, 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 no. That's his American age. Yeah, in America, he just turned 16. But in Nigeria, he's around like 27. Yeah, that's how it's done. Then in China, he was born today. <laughs> yes. So shout out to you, IK. Happy birthday. Confirm. Who do we have next? All right. Next up, we have Tito. I asked him, what was he going to be doing? He said, I am an artist. Confirm. I said, okay, what exactly do you do? And he said, well, I perform around the world. And I said, well, what do you do? He said, he sings. So give it up for the singer, Tito. Put your hands together for him. All the way from Nigeria. <laughs> 